In this video, we will review the proper attachment and removal of the single-use elevator cap, model OE-A63, with the DEC HD Duodenoscope model ED34I10T2. This video is not intended to be used instead of the instructions for use. For complete information, always refer to instructions for use of both the ED34I10T2 and OE-A63. We will begin by inspecting all components, then review both proper attachment and proper removal of elevator cap OE-A63. Prior to attaching the elevator cap to the endoscope, inspect all components of the distal end of the scope, the elevator control lever, and single-use sterile elevator cap. Inspection of the distal end of the endoscope includes the objective lens, light guides, air water nozzle, instrument channel, and elevator link. Check all components of the distal end for any abnormalities such as attachment of foreign material, scratches, or chipping, and ensure that there is no gap on the periphery of the lens. Next, inspect the elevator control lever by slowly moving it distally, then return it to its original position. Check that there are no irregularities or abnormalities in the operation of the lever, such as roughness, catching, or that it does not move smoothly. Inspect the components of the elevator cap, including the opening, cap part, elevator mechanism, and model name. Check the distal end cap for any abnormalities, such as cracks, abrasions, deformities, chipping, discoloration, or the presence of foreign materials, and ensure that there are no missing components. It is important to ensure the elevator link and elevator mechanism are in the correct position when properly attaching the elevator cap to the distal end of the endoscope. In the disengaged or lowered position, the elevator control lever is pushed proximally until it stops. The elevator link of the endoscope will be parallel to the objective lens, and the elevator mechanism of the elevator end cap will be parallel to the opening. Here you can see the elevator control lever, elevator link, and elevator mechanism all in the disengaged or lowered position. In the engaged or raised position, the elevator control lever is pushed distally until it stops. The elevator link of the endoscope will be perpendicular to the objective lens, and the elevator mechanism of the elevator cap will be perpendicular to the opening. Here you can see the elevator control lever, elevator link, and elevator mechanism all in the engaged or raised position. Complete the following steps to properly attach the single-use elevator cap to the DEC HD duodenoscope. Ensure the elevator link is in the disengaged or lowered position. To do so, move the elevator control lever proximally until it stops. The elevator link shown here is in the disengaged or lowered position. Ensure the elevator mechanism of the OE-A63 elevator cap is in the disengaged or lowered position. The elevator mechanism shown here is in the disengaged or lowered position. Align the cap opening with the objective lens at the distal end of the duodenoscope and slide the elevator cap onto the distal end of the duodenoscope. Push the distal end cap inward until the groove at the distal end of the endoscope is completely covered and until you feel and hear it click into place. Ensure that there is no gap between the distal end cap and the metal at the distal end of the endoscope. If there is any gap, push it further and ensure the elevator link is in the proper position. Lightly push on the area where the model name appears with your finger. Grasp the end of the distal end cap and gently pull to ensure that it does not come off the distal end of the duodenoscope. Lastly, check that the elevator can be raised and lowered according to the operation of the elevator control lever. Move the elevator control lever of the duodenoscope slowly two or three times in each direction and ensure that the elevator part of the distal end cap operates smoothly in response to the operation of the elevator control lever. Complete the following steps to properly remove the single-use elevator cap from the DEC HD duodenoscope. Ensure the elevator is in the disengaged or lowered position. To do so, move the elevator control lever proximally until it stops. The elevator shown here is in the disengaged or lowered position. 
gently grip the end of the bending section of the endoscope with one gloved hand, and while using your other gloved hand, gently hold the proximal side of the single-use distal end cap. Slowly pull the single-use distal end cap straight out to remove it from the distal end of the endoscope. Visually inspect to ensure no parts of the single-use distal end cap are remaining on the distal end of the endoscope. Throw away the used elevator cap. In this video, we have reviewed the proper attachment and removal of single-use elevator cap model OE A63 with the DEC HD Duodenoscope model ED34 I10T2. This video is not intended to be used instead of the instructions for use. For complete information, always refer to instructions for use of both the ED34 I10T2 and OE A63.